Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I've been trying to get some natural daylight coming in, so if there's light moving around, it's because I'm trying to do some natural lighting here, which means it's a little bit more inconsistent as it comes and goes around clouds. Today we are going to be talking about the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the shade Nova. I received this in my November BoxyCharm. I have been playing with this for about a week now, putting it through its paces in a bunch of different ways. I found ways I really like it. I found ways that I'm definitely not going to do it again. And I'm going to share all of that with you so you can decide if this is a product that you may want. Uh, usually in these kinds of videos, I talk about the company, but I've done a bunch of videos on cover effects before. Uh, it's a brand that I really like. What I'm going to do is link down below to other videos I've done for cover effects. So if you're interested in knowing more about the brand and the company, uh, those videos will have a little bit of an intro that has more more about cover effects. Uh, but what I am going to do is talk about this product in particular. I am going to talk about the different ways you can use it. I'm going to do some swatching, I'm going to do some application, and then I'm going to tell you what I think of this and whether it is worth your hard-earned money. And I'm going to put some timestamps down below so that you can watch the parts of the video you would like to watch. So let's talk about these glitter drops. Uh, I feel like this is relatively new, perhaps not, but they are, I think, more new than their co uh, Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops, was that the name of them? Um, those ones are the ones that are a little bit more like specifically highlighter or bronzer, or I think the custom cover drops also come in like foundation shades and you can use them to sort of up the coverage of your foundation. I have gone into Sephora and played with the uh, custom drops so many times because like those highlight shades they have and those bronze shades, they're just so gorgeous. Uh, now they are on the pricey side, especially here in Canada. And also that's not the product we're talking about. We're talking about these glitter drops. So to me, this very much seems like a highlighter of the custom cover drops with micro shimmer added in. Here comes the sun, which makes me a ghost. So let me adjust that a little bit. So these glitter drops, if you are in Canada, are going to set you back $54 for 0.5 fluid ounces of product. So they are pricey. I feel like this is the kind of product where if it was like 20 bucks, I'd be like, go buy it. It's awesome. It's only because of the price that you start to really consider those pros and cons of this and what you would realistically be using it for. So these do come in three shades and one limited edition shade. This right here is the limited edition shade called Nova. So this is very much a like champagne kind of shade, the undertone or the highlight part of it with multicolor micro shimmer in here. When you actually look closely at the micro shimmer, you're going to see greens and blues and pinks and silvers. So it's multi-tonal, you've got all of that going on. The other three shades that they have, one is called Lunar. Uh, it describes it as being multicolored pastel glitter, but when you look at the uh, bottle online, it really seems to have a bluish undertone to it for that actual highlighter base. Uh, Mirage is a described as a golden champagne glitter, but it seems to have a silvery green sort of undertone highlight to it. And then Aurora is described as multi-tonal pink glitter, and it seems to have a sort of pink highlighter base to it. So I do think that if you're looking for something that is uh, the base of it to be a little closer to a highlight, either Nova or Aurora are going to be the two that will probably be what you're looking for. So these products are cruelty-free and vegan, as well as paraben-free, talc-free, let me double check all the other things. Free of gluten, mineral oil, parabens, fragrance, and talc. Uh, cover effects is usually pretty good with keeping ingredients out of your makeup that you do not want in your makeup. So these are described as customizable and ultra concentrated. Uh, they are multi-use liquid glitters and can be used alone, under or over makeup, or mixed into your beauty products for an incredibly luxe glitter effect on the face and body. Uh, they impart a high impact light reflective finish. So I'm going to talk first about the two ways that I am not going to use this, but depending on what you want, you may want to. So 
And also, <laughs> I feel like I'm jumping around here, but when I was like 19, 20 years old, um, and I used to go out to like bars and clubs and go dancing and that kind of thing, it was sort of in that like lots of glitter, over the top uh, era. So we used to buy like products with like the chunky glitter in it. I wanna say like at the mall, you would almost get like roller balls with like glitter and would put it sort of like here and like here and on the shoulders and everything. And it would be like chunky, chunky glitter. So if I was still in that phase of my life, I would love to use this as very much a highlight and a glitter. Um, and also mixed into foundation. So let me start with the foundation. I try doing that today. Uh, and let me tell you that a little of this goes a long way. I was putting out some BB cream, uh, my Ribble BB cream, onto my hand and then I was mixing this in. I will also say that although this is set up like a dropper, mine does not actually function as a dropper. And I don't know if that's just a problem that mine has or what because I mostly need to use this just sort of as a little stick to take out and smear the product uh, which isn't ideal but I felt like I needed more of it because I hadn't really used it in a foundation um, and then I put it on and I looked like a metallic robot. Uh, one of the links down below is going to be to the 100 layers of Dewy Cover Effects setting spray it sort of looked like I was on layer 50 of that. Like these are very metallic and highlighter-ish. And if you use more than just a tiny bit, I looked crazy. So I needed to go in with like a layer of stick foundation on top of that to just tone it down enough where I could then powder on top of it and take down that shine. So if you are somebody who wants to put this into your foundation and you are going to have multicolored micro shimmer all over your face if you do that just use like a drop because not only are you trying to well maybe you want a ton of micro shimmer but for me the problem wasn't the micro shimmer the problem was the highlighter base of this was just very strong so a little goes a very 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 long way and right now when I look up close at my face and I don't think you'll be able to see it but I'll zoom you in to see if we can I have micro shimmer all over and like under my eyes and then it gets stuck into like my eyebrows and it's just it would be something I would love if I was younger but it's not really a look I'm going for now because that it, glitter just isn't what I want. Now the other thing that you can do with this is use it as a highlighter and it's going to be a very intense and micro glittery highlighter. Before I do that, let me just show you a little swatch of this because it is gorgeous. And I will tell you that I have been like putting this on the back of my hand and stuff when I'm sort of sitting and watching TV and it's like mesmerizing. It is so gorgeous. Oh, let me play around the light a little bit here again. Like, look at how shiny that is. It is like liquid metal in that really beautiful champagne color. You know, and that right there that's providing that highlight and reflection, that was like a drop. So if I was choosing to use this as a highlighter, sort of undilute it, you know, I personally would do my makeup and everything and then take a beauty blender and sort of dab it in there and you can sort of see the color of it on there and then dab and you can see you know the shine that it gives and it's just so intense that the beauty blender will at least help you know disperse it a little bit you know it's just it's so gorgeous <laughs> and shiny. I mean, and the other thing that you can do is specifically go in and like highlight your collarbones or like just on your shoulders to sort of give that kind of oomph to it. And now I'll show you the two ways that I will be using this. I am unlikely to use this on my face as sort of a base product, either a highlight or mixed into foundation, just because I don't want that micro shimmer all over the place. Um, but what I'm really looking forward to is using this mixed in with body lotion, especially in the summer when it can really sort of catch the light and you know, it has that shimmery thing, but also adds a layer of like highlight. 
So I have here just a little bit of body lotion. And I'll just show you what I would do. I mean, that's enough right there to do like all my arms and my chest and everything. And for that amount of body lotion, <laughs> like I would just use that much of a smear of the um, Cover FX product to mix in, you know, and then I can put this on. And again, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to pick up on camera, but I just have this sort of nice glowy look. Um, and yeah, there's micro shimmer in there, but it just adds that little bit of shine where the light catches. And to me, that's something that I will definitely be using this for. The other thing I'll be using this for, and uh, I think it looks gorgeous, is on my eyes. So right now I just have a very matte look on my eyes, but I'm gonna zoom you in and show you how this can be used to add sort of a punch of shimmer. So I'm just putting a little bit of the drops on the back of my hand, and then just going in with my finger. And I mean, it's gorgeous. Now, I'm trying to do this in the viewfinder, so I may not be getting exactly what I want, but it is so nice on the eyes. Just add that beautiful reflective shine, and you know, I don't mind some micro shimmer on the eyes. I have found this in no way irritates my eyes. Uh, it feels totally fine on there. It'll dry down in, you know, a little bit. It's already starting to be pretty dry on there once I've patted it in. And I've had no problem with this lasting, um, you know, on my eyes through the day. So here's my review on this product. I mean, I received this in a subscription box, so I'm going to use this and enjoy it. If you love shimmer and glitter, I think this is a gorgeous product. Uh, it's a little bit more of a sophisticated glitter, which is really fun. What I like most about this though is the reflective highlight base that is in here. So if I was going out and, you know, looking at this or looking at a custom cover drop highlighter, I would get the highlighter without the micro shimmer. But this is a gorgeous product, like just gorgeous. It's it's just that I am not a person to have that much glitter going on in my life right now, but it is just absolutely beautiful. Like it just catches my attention and it's just so, so pretty. Um, so I don't think I would personally buy this one, although now that I have it, I am just going to find every use that I can for it. But this really, really makes me want to go buy one of the custom cover drops because oh, this is, beautiful, like just beautiful. Um, so I would love to hear from you guys if you receive this, what you've been doing with it, what you're looking forward to using it for. Um, if you have some of the cover effects, custom cover drops, let me know how you use them if you like them, because I am just in love with this. Uh, that is my review for today. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I think that's everything. I will see you in my next video. Bye.